can you put the Pavo Femto cage with the DJI 04 Lite into the Pavo 20? Good question. Let's find out. It looks like the mounting holes are going to line up. The answer is yes. It does fit pretty perfectly onto the Pavo 20. There's one slight little hiccup though. This is the stock cable on the Pavo 20 um, and the connector on the 04 Lite is on the other side. So we are gonna have to take out the stock cable and get a longer one. Here is a 10 centimeter long cable from the DJI 04 Pro. The cable from the 03 should also work, I think. I can't get the cable out without removing the cage again, so. Lessons learned, change the cable out before putting the cage on. I'm wrapping the cable around the back of the cage, and this should fit in perfectly into the side of the 04 Lite. And there we go, we have the Pavo Femto cage with the 04 light on the Pavo 20. All we needed is a longer cable and about five minutes of time. Pretty easy. Now let's take it on a flight. This flight is being recorded at 4K60 with the built-in stabilization, the Rocksteady that's built into the 04 light. And I gotta say, it looks pretty darn good for 04 light standards. It's still a little bit blurry and the colors are a bit washed out but there's not even a hint of jello, which I was a little bit surprised by. Maybe the tune on the Pavo 20 with its bi-bladed props, maybe it's just a little bit better because throughout all of these flights, there's not, or I guess maybe not entirely jello free, but it's like 99% jello free, which is pretty awesome. Also, because the 04 Lite is a lot lighter than the 03 that the Pavo 20 was originally designed for, the Pavo 20 did feel pretty snappy. It felt a lot more powerful than I'm normally used to with the heavier 03 on it. The batteries I'm using are the Lava 553S packs. And because the Pavo 20 isn't that much bigger than the Pavo Femto, I think this could be my go-to setup. I'm not 100% sure because I'm still pretty disappointed by the video quality from the 04 Lite, even in these good conditions where there's no jello at all. It still looks pretty bad, but I do really like how the Pavo 20 handles and flies with all this like weight reduction. It feels really snappy. And due to the reduced weight of the 04 light, the fly times are also just a little bit longer, which is always nice. This does make me wonder why the Pavo Femto has so many issues with Jello when this Pavo 20 with like, these are like the stock props. I've never changed them at all in the Pavo 20. Um, this looks absolutely perfect, but the Pavo Femto seems to have a lot of issues with Jello. So I'm wondering if the PID tune on the Pavo Femto isn't ideal and it's actually the PID tuning that's causing a lot of Jello on the 04. I'm not a hundred percent sure, but I don't know, it's just, I'm just throwing wild ideas out there. I'm just really surprised by how smooth the footage is on the Pavo 20 rather than the Pavo Femto. Just something I've noticed. Anyways, this footage you're seeing is um, uh, gyro flow. This is like the little preview you see in gyro flow when stabilizing. So this flight was taken uh, without rock steady. And then this is a visualization of what you see in gyro flow of what it does to stabilize the footage. I thought it's rather nice. And I wish there was a better way for gyro flow to export this kind of view because I think it looks kind of cool. But yeah, that's all I have to say. So I'm just going to leave this video playing for a little bit. Uh, anyways, thanks for watching. And if you haven't already subscribed to this second channel, Hoarder Sam 2, I'd really appreciate it if you could subscribe to this YouTube channel as well. I'm going to be posting more low quality and low effort videos over here on this second channel.